Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about what happened to Lester Crest after the Diamond Casino heist. Because thanks to the Cayo Perico heist, we actually have a really fun Easter egg that sort of tells us what he's doing now. And it might actually mean the end for Lester in Grand Theft Auto Online, which actually has a fun sort of ending to it. So as you guys know, throughout the main GTA 5 story, Lester is sort of the brains behind the operation of every heist. He's responsible for not only finding opportunities that could be valuable, but also setting them up and putting Michael, Trevor, and Franklin on the best path for success. And so in Grand Theft Auto Online, naturally the same thing sort of happens. He finds our character, he gravitates towards them, he tells us what we need to set up the heist, oftentimes he's involved with them in various missions and cutscenes, and that was extremely prevalent in the Diamond Casino heist, as he was involved from the very beginning and essentially the entire setup. Who hacked my phone? We did. In case you don't recognize her, this is Georgina Chang, Vice President of Chang Holdings. Investor, philanthropist, socialite. She was just voted the 89th best dressed lady in China. Yeah, yeah. Ni hao. I did my undergrad in London, my master's in dispute to Mr. Crest, who can speak English. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Miss Chang has come to Los Santos to deal with a regrettable visit. Oh, let me guess. The Diamond Casino and Resort? You upset the Thornton Duggan muscled you out? My older brother was in charge. He was taken advantage of. Yeah, well, private equity money's always gonna try to screw you, lady. You wanna talk to a lawyer, not us. You misunderstand. I don't want the casino back. I want them to wish they never heard of it. <laughs> How so? You're going to rob it. <laughs> and why would we do that? Aside from the vault stocked with cash and different guests can sign me for every week, there's a challenge. Better security than anything you've ever seen. A truly dynamic and adaptive system. No offense, Miss Chang, but every job I've ever done was impossible. Until I did it. Perhaps. But do you know what? They told me you're the best in the business. But it only took me five minutes to clean yourself. Okay. Maybe I'm uh, a little stale. But I'm not coming out of retirement every time some new money sink opens up. I'm gonna need more of a reason. Then maybe you do it for me. Because I'm asking you as a favor. I'm not looking to make any money out of this. Anything you get is all with yours. You need a base of operations. Find something, but we can't have anything to do with it. Your associates will have to be the phone. I'm not gonna pretend I haven't already looked into this job a little bit, you know, a professional curiosity. So I'll send you a mail, and it's up to you. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I don't want to miss the early bird special. Bye, then. He's just how I thought you'd be. I hope you can help us. Quang, let's go. Yes, why not? And during the Diamond Casino heist, he actually meets another character that was introduced into Grand Theft Auto Online, Georgina Chang, who is the vice president of Chang Family Holdings. She is the daughter of Wei Chang and the younger sister of Tao Chang. And Georgina is extremely talented. You get some background information on her that she completed her undergraduate degree at a university in London, her master's degree at Vespucci University, and according to her assistant, she was voted the 89th best dressed lady in China, which of course is very interesting. Now, what's very interesting is despite her calm and collected personality, she is not above keeping grudges. In fact, even manipulating Lester and the online protagonist into pulling off the heist on her behalf as a favor, despite Lester wanting no part of it. And what makes this fun is she is an expert hacker, arguably on a higher level than Lester. Now, throughout the cutscenes, it is heavily implied that Georgina has taken an interest in Lester even well before their first meeting, as she claims him to be exactly what she imagined. And during the arcade setup, Georgina even begins flirting with Lester and insists that he address her by her first name. And it's very clear that Lester is also very interested in Georgina as he starts dressing up uncharacteristically and begins stuttering while she is in his presence. And all of this sort of leads us to the conclusion 
of the Diamond Casino heist. The final cutscene you get where Lester and Georgina sort of have one final meeting together. <laughs> ah, you're here, you're here. Come on over to the edge and take a look at her. <laughs> we did it. Cleaned it out. Jackpot. The diamond was unbreakable and we broke it. <laughs> here, have a swig of that. It is muy bueno. Got some for me. I, uh, I thought you went back. I did, but I'm here now. Didn't want to miss the celebrations. Duggan's insurance premium has already doubled. And it'll keep doubling if we hit the place again. Do you think that's actually possible? Well, we couldn't approach it the same way. They'll be expecting that, but uh, we come at it from a new direction. You're a very resourceful man, Mr. Crest. And here I was thinking that I was retired. Didn't have anything left to give. How about now? How did you hack my cell phone? You're going to have to work harder for that. So that was the kiss that was seen, heard around the world, and at this point in time, you would assume, okay, maybe Lester has finally found his true love. I mean, it's pretty obvious throughout the campaign and online, he is extremely awkward. You would find that him getting a soulmate would probably be pretty difficult, but maybe, just maybe, he had found one in Georgina. I mean, they have similar interests that they have carrying out heist and uh, their interest in hacking. And it seems like they connect on both an emotional and physical level. But you kind of wondered what happened to them. Like, what were they going to do after this? Would we see Lester again? Because this kind of was his like happily ever after story. Well, it actually turns out we know exactly what happened to Lester and Georgina. And it seems like at least a year later, they are still together and are still in a good relationship because there's actually a file that can be found in the Cayo Perico heist that suggests they are still very happy together. So take a look at this photo right here. It's kind of like a Polaroid. You can see it's Lester and Georgina. They're actually at the Del Perro Pier and it looks like they just won a plushie out of an arcade machine. How fun is that? So even Lester uses the Wasabi Kitty Claw machine, or at least something like that. It looks like they are having fun. Lester is taking a selfie, which again is very uncharacteristic of Lester. So I think this is hysterical right here. Georgina and Lester are still together, and it looks like they are very happy with each other's company. So this raises the question. Are we done with Lester Crest and Grand Theft Auto Online? You would assume someone who has found love and is very happy probably has no interest in throwing all of that away. And it's funny that even this heist, the Cayo Perico heist, had absolutely nothing to do with Lester. Don't you think that's a little bit strange that he was involved in every other heist before, but suddenly he finds his true love and now he just mysteriously has nothing to do with the heist. So it kind of makes me wonder if this is Rockstar's way of basically just saying Lester is done as a character, at least in terms of involving heist. Now, he might pop up in the future. There's a lot of variables here. We don't even know how many updates we have left in GTA Online or if one would be applicable for Lester to return. But I did find it interesting that this one, the Cayo Perico heist, where it would have been very obvious for him to show up, considering this is his background and all, and he just doesn't whatsoever. So I found this Easter egg to be very fun and enjoyable, and it kind of explains what the heck happened to Lester. And it looks like he actually has a pretty good ending. So I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think happened to Lester in GTA Online. Do you think he's living happily ever after with Georgina? Do you think he's got something else going on? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico heist 
and festive surprise 2020 update videos that I'll be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.